was changed forever. In early, in early spring 1944, armed soldiers forced us out of our homes into a former brick factory outside of town. We now lived in this ghetto. Then on a sunny day, May 27, 1944, we were strip searched in a tent. I hid I snuck the small knife by squeezing it in my hand. We were forced into cattle cars Without food or water, about 95 scared Jews, old men and women, young mothers with frightened, hungry children. We had almost no air to breathe. In a corner, my mother, brother, and I were sitting between one another's legs. Then I began to make an air hole with my secret knife in the cattle car. What seemed like forever, the train stopped. My mother and brother were forced to the right. I was forced to the left. I never saw them again. Our dad was at work that, at that time, so my guess was that our dad came later that day. He must have been ordered to the left side since he was not on the right side with me. So I assumed he was on the left side. I missed my family. That night we were supposed to take showers. Most of us refused to, but we had to. So we got in the showers, but most of us did not get our clothes back. They were given to the Germans for extras, so we had to wear rags. To, to pass time, I started painting pictures on my dishes. One lady took notice of me and got me a job at the paint factory. After quite some time, I heard that my cousins were going to be deported to the right side with me. I was happy to hear that some of my family was going to be with me. Not long after they arrived, we heard news that we are going to be freed from the concentration camp. While this was wonderful news, I wondered if I would ever see my family again. I'm moving in with a friend. My life would never be the same. My parents were gone, as well as my brother. It's hard to believe how much evil there is in the world. Hey, Lucia. 